Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so this video is, a, is an experience that I'm sharing. It's a straight up teaching actually, um, which I hope you truly appreciate. And at the very least, I, I was, share the words guys, share the knowledge. I hope you enjoy the word. Uh, if you like it, show the like. So this is an experience I've had recently with Astaroth. Now I've been working with her for a long time on like a, on, on our relationship with work in general. Um, but there, there are a lot of times when I just don't work with her, but it doesn't mean I don't say hello. Keep that in mind because I, I teach you guys all the time, maintain a relationship, maintain a relationship, you know. So I will regularly say hello to all the eight um, entities I work with on a very regular basis. But maybe not so much time because I'm either busy with other stuff or other entities or teachings and stuff. Anyway, so enough of the rambling. So this experience I had with her, which I want to share with you guys, because it actually gives, it's going to give you an insight and knowledge. Just hear me out. So, and the powerful thing is, it's based again on relationship and energy with entity, right? And energy is awesome, magnetic ways. So I never cast a spell for myself, right? So also just to get it out, is that this bit can make sense. It doesn't matter whether you married, dating, single, or whatever in this example. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest now, it's personal, but I'm single. I choose to be single right now. Um, so, recently, for work reasons, I've been spending a lot more time with Astrid, and beyond the spell and client teaching, I've been spending more and more time with her. And what happens when you spend more and more time with entity, like I have mentioned other words, is their energy their characteristics and strengths start to rub off on you and actually start to shine out of you. So I've noticed for the last couple of weeks when I go to the mall or out in general, without any intent, just because maybe it's on the subconscious mind, um, if you're straight or if you're not straight, it doesn't matter, being attractive to uh, the opposite sex, right? It's on your mind, you know, you, we're human. So without even putting any effort into it, like I said, or any spell work on it because I don't do that for myself and I'll teach it if you ever want to. Um, her, keeping in mind, her characteristics is, while some of it is it, it, sexual, it's lustful, it's raw, it's powerful and it's extremely high level. I've never really experienced my life. So I'm quite a quiet guy on the outside or, and in general in my life. And I keep to myself, if you want to talk to me, I'll talk to you, I'll teach you if you want to learn. So my point is, just spending so much more time for in the last couple of weeks, I've noticed like head start to turn, and I'm I'm not talking about my physical appearance, you know. I, I am who I am. I'm not super hot. I'm 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 just fucking average, you know. I'm sharing personal shit with you guys here. I've been getting approached by women in malls, <clears throat> out in general, and sometimes it goes beyond just a normal hello. I can actually see, and this is just to teach you guys. I can see that lust and desire, and sometimes beyond their understanding because. At first, you might not be their, uh, their appeal at first, but it's that energy that you're carrying with you that's rubbing off on you all the time. And because, in this example, Astrid is so attractive and she's got such a strong pull in sexuality, that has been rubbed off on me that I, and if you would like to experience that, because spend more time with certain entities, knowing their characteristics, and that is what you'll start to attract more in your life. So without even looking, especially for you single guys out there, single girls, spend time with those type of entities who vibrate very highly in sexuality and attraction and lust and love and desire. It starts to rub off on you. Like, I suppose that's why I choose to be single, especially now with this type of confirmation. I just go out, uh, I'm just being myself, doing shopping, and, and I'll get glanced, I'll get approached. And I'm never rude about it, uh, whether I'm looking for something or not. The, the, the lesson and the teaching of this word is, that you as a person start to mirror your, your patron. Especially when you spend more and more quality time with him. Like I said, I will just be out, I'll get approached and I'll chat in and you know what? You feel good. You do feel good. Whether you go out on a date or not, you feel good. So if, if it's like uh, you're looking for that type of level in, in business, your career, the, the building office you're working in, and you want that certain type of attraction in your life without necessarily doing spell. You just want it to be natural. Um, spend time with people like uh, King Belial, Lord Lucifer. You know, patrons of wealth and power. It'll start to rub off on you. You'll walk into your place of work and you'll start attracting the right attention. 
that of the managers, the, the CEOs, what, whatever it is you need to enhance your life. I hope it made sense, guys. I just felt I needed to share that with you that, again, the more time you spend an entity and the more you start to be more confident because they are all confident. That, that's a given. So that's a given attribute you will start to build is confidence. Confidence and attraction. And they have different forms of attraction, like I said. The sexual, the lustful, business attraction, social attraction. Basically, it's attraction that you start to really exhume. You really get that out there. You become very attractive. You start attracting people and things into your life the more time you spend on entity. So always keep in mind the characteristics and character of entity you're spending time with. That will impact what it is you're attracting into your life. Hope it made sense, guys. Okay, if you need any of my help or services, give a shout.